Hello everyone, I'm Roman Spielger from Heidelberg University, where I'm currently pursuing my PhD degree with Biomedical Computer Vision Group. Thank you for joining me to listen to my talk, Deep Segmentation of Bacteria at Different Stages of the Life Cycle. To cope with fluctuations in environmental conditions, many bacteria can switch between a proliferative vegetative state and a metabolically inactive dormant state. For example, Bacillus subtilis forms endospores as response to environmental stress. Because of this, the cell's genetic material can be preserved in times of, of extreme stresses such as heat and starvation. Imaging the life cycle of bacterial cells under changing environmental conditions is a powerful tool to investigate the mechanisms of these state transitions at the molecular and cellular level. However, a main challenge of analyzing the image data is that the appearance of bacteria changes strongly and inhomogeneously. Here you can see in the progress of colony growth, bright, more circular endospores are formed from the rod-shaped bacterial cells. In previous work, classical methods for bacterial segmentation based on the seeded watershed algorithm and threshold-based approaches have been introduced. Also, an approach based on linear future detection was introduced. Deep learning methods have been introduced for cell segmentation. The unit and the future parameter network was introduced and applied to HeLa cells. A convolutional long short term memory was combined with the unit to take into account temporal information for segmentation of HeLa cells. A ConfNet was used to distinguish between bacteria and non bacterial objects in microscopy images. Bacteria with strong heterogeneous changes of the appearance were not considered. In this contribution, we introduce a deep learning method for segmentation of bacteria with strong heterogeneous appearance changes during the life cycle. We investigated different network architectures and introduced a novel shape based weighting strategy for the loss function to take into account prior knowledge about the object shape. We investigated different network architectures, the original unit architecture, a modified unit architecture, which differs in three ways from the original unit. First, we employ bilinear interpolation followed by a one-by-one -one convolution layer instead of using transposed convolutions for the spatial upsampling operation. This reduces checkerboard artifacts in the output. Second, we include batch normalization layers after the rectifier linear units, accelerating training and improving network accuracy. Third, we use average pooling instead of max pooling to smooth the future maps. We also investigated a modified unit with short skip connections by incorporating residual blocks. In addition, we studied the future parameter network. We propose a novel shape based weighting strategy for the loss function. The weighting scheme exploits knowledge about the object shape and is based on the eccentricity. The weights are computed as follows. First, individual objects are identified in the ground truth by connected components labeling. Second, for each object R in the ground truth, the best fitting ellipse is determined, from which the length of the semi major axis AR and the length of the semi minor axis BR. Are calculated. Then the weight Wij at pixel Ij is computed based on the eccentricity Er for the object it belongs to. W0 is an adjustable parameter. Here you can see an example of the computed shape based weights. On the left, the original image, in the middle, the ground truth and on the right the shape-based weights. It can be seen that strongly ellipsoidal shapes such as bacteria yield low weights, while more circular shapes such as endospores, which are less present in the training data and much more difficult to segment, result in high weights. This weight map enables the network to focus on endospores during training to improve the segmentation of these structures. Our dataset consists of 10 temporal microscopy image sequences of Bacillus subtilis, each comprising 277 images. Ground truth for all 2770 images was obtained by manual annotation. The dataset is split into 72% for training, 8% for validation and 20% for testing. 
We trained the networks using the standard Storasti gradient descent optimizer with a momentum of 0.9 and a batch size of 4. The learning rate is initially set to 0.01 and cosine annealing is used to adjust the learning rate after each batch. We use 128 by 128 random crops for network training. Pixelwise cross entropy is employed as loss function. We performed a quantitative evaluation for 554 life cell microscopy images of Bacillus subtilis. As pixelwise performance measures, we use the dice coefficient as well as the intersection over union, which is also known as the Chacard index. We compare the future paramind network, the modified res unit, and the modified unit without and with shape based weighting of the loss function. It can be seen that for all network structures, the proposed weighting scheme improves the result. The best result is obtained by the modified unit, which performs much better than the original unit. Here you can see sample segmentation results of the modified unit with weighting for different stages of the life cycle. No endospores, mixed and only endospores. At the top are the original images and at the bottom the segmentation results. Green marks true positive labeled pixels, red false negatives and purple false positives. It can be seen that the images are well segmented. Here you can see an enlargement of an image section, which is difficult to segment. We presented the deep learning method combined with the shape-based weighting scheme for the loss function to accurately segment bacteria at different stages of the life cycle. We investigated different network architectures. The method was applied to temporal microscopy image sequence of Bacillus subtilis bacteria with strong changes in the appearance. Our shape-based weighting improves the results for all network architectures. We found that the method leads accurate segmentation results. Finally, I would like to thank the institutes and my work, Codex.